Metal Warriors, welcome to another interview here in Iron Madness. Uh, today it's a very important interview for me. Uh, I'm so excited because today we have here Andreas Jeremia, the singer for Tanker. So uh, first of all, I want to know how to to name you because here in Spain we say Jerre, but I don't know. Probably it's, it's Jer. No, it's it's Gary. It's a nickname. Yeah. Everything is cool. So hello and nice talking to you. <laughs> no, it's it's a pleasure for me. I'm a huge fan from Tanker. Yeah, I can see it. That's awesome. That's I have awesome. All the flags and all my t-shirt collection. Everything that's that's here. amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. So proud for having you here. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, let's start. My my first question. It's usually for a presentation. I usually ask the the guest to introduce her, uh, herself or himself. But in this case, I think you don't need any presentation because. Uh, everyone knows you, so so let's start with an interesting question because we don't have any news from Tankar here in Spain. Uh, where are you going to come? If you know something, we will have dates in Spain soon. You you think so? At the moment, we don't have any dates in Spain, but um, yeah, I'm really I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward uh, to come back, of course. And uh, but at the moment, uh, we have no no offers. But um, yeah, we've been a couple of times to Spain, and it was always amazing. And um, so we are really looking forward to come back one day. And festivals? Would you like to come here in summer? Yes, of, of course. We we always would love to come to Spain. But at the moment, there are. Uh, no plans, no offers, but um, we will see. Okay, so uh, now that we're talking about Spain and that things, I wanted to ask you because I'm quite sure Spain is an important country for you, I would say, because you are uh, you, you support uh, Eintracht uh, from Frankfurt, the football team, yes. and and they won the, the, the Euro Cup here in Spain. So how was that feeling? Yeah, that was amazing to win a European Cup after 42 years. So, as you know, we are big supporters. And yes. um, uh, personally, I've been, of course, to Betis Sevilla. I've been in Barcelona uh, uh -huh. when we won. And um, we were able to play at the Fan Fest in, uh, be before the, the final game in Sevilla again. Yeah. We played at a we played at a fan fest, some football songs, and um, yeah, there also were some some uh, Spanish metal fans from Sevilla, <laughs> and um, that was that was qu quite fun because um, of course that concert was uh, for free. It was a fan fest in in the middle of the city, yeah. and um, yeah, and that was very funny to have some thrash metal fans over there and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was really amazing to to won this uh, cup and unbelievable, still unbelievable. Well, uh, my next question is about uh, the members of the band, the formation. Uh, you have a, a really stable formation, uh, the same members since 20 years ago, I think, more or less. Yeah, it's like a little family, so... Um, Olaf, so Frank, the bass player, uh, and me, we are together since 82, since the, since the first days, yeah. since the beginning. And um, Olaf joined the band in 94 and Andy in 98. So Andy is also uh, now this year, he's going to be, I don't know, 25 years in the band. And uh, yeah. this is really awesome. This is really great. We are all good friends. And uh, as I told you before, it's it feels like a little family, of course. At the moment, I really could not imagine to 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 play with with other guys. Tankard, we keep together, and um, it, it's a really quite good feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a question now about about your your tours. Probably it's because you usually play during weekends. Why? Yeah, we all have regular jobs, so we are not uh, okay. doing Tankard's hundred percent professional. So we all have regular jobs, and so, yeah, mostly we play at the weekend, and um, okay. at the moment we don't really have to have the time for going on tour for a couple of months or something like that. So, 
Yeah, so, I mean, on the one hand, it's, um, of course, great, very positive, because we are totally independent. We can do what we want. We don't have to earn money with the music. On the other hand, the, the bad side is we, we are not able to play all the offers we get all over the world, so we have to choose a little bit. Yeah. But um, we keep on going like this. Uh -huh. So it's it's difficult probably to go on a big tour, uh, on a long tour, because you have your regular uh, jobs, as, as you said. So yeah, you play so, from I mean, weekend we, to weekend. We, Yeah, we play mostly at the weekends, but if there is an offer for a tour, of course, we have to take holiday or something like that. Okay. But we are not able to go for a couple yeah. of months on tour. So you have to spend your, your holidays for going on tour? Yeah, some of our holidays we have to spend for the activities of the band, of course. I wanted to ask you because Tankard is um, a band that is uh, active since the 80s and I want you to, to explain us uh, the differences between a show in the 1980s and a show now. Which differences uh, can you see? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think you have a little bit better equipment uh, is, uh, like in the 80s. Yeah. But the show uh, is as like intensive like uh, in the 80s. And um, I mean, of course, the music has not totally changed. It's, it's still fresh metal, of course. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. but, but there are no, not so much big differences, I really would say. No? Yeah, you have, you have better technical equipment, uh -huh. I really would say. But um, yeah. Concerning the music, there is no big difference. And concerning the, the audience, the the reactions of the audience, it's, uh, yeah, it's always cool and uh, we love to play live. I, I know uh, that you're a good frontman. I have seen you uh, even dancing up in stage, uh, but I want to know when did you uh, know and, and understand that you were born uh, for this, for being uh, a singer, a frontman, a leader of a band? I don't know if I was born for that. So the, the plan in I the beginning so. was that I would be, I was supposed to be the bass player and Frank, uh, our bass player, w was supposed to be the singer. And then, okay. yeah, we both took bass lessons and um, yeah, Frank was 1000 times more motivated to learn bass than me so okay we changed it in the beginning and um yeah so i don't know if i was born for that that but uh, i try always to do my best and it makes a lot of fun of course after 40 years playing and in a band uh what can you expect from music now there are still a lot of countries we have never been to so, so there's a lot still a lot to do of course and uh -huh. um, as long we have the spirit and as long we uh, have not so much pain uh, in, <laughs> in our bones we keep on going and because um, I think for me personally Tankard is really a very important uh, part in my life and I re really could not imagine uh, a life without tankard to be honestly i would love to do it uh, yeah as long as as it's possible for my body what uh, did you like to play when you were a kid when you were a child when i was a child i i think i would love to be a guitar player i think yeah yeah i will name you three films and you have to rate them okay Uh, I'm not really into big movies, but uh, we will see. Okay, let's try, let's try. If you haven't seen them, just say pass and that's it, okay? The first one is Lord of the Rings. A very great uh, movie and uh, if I have to give points between one and ten, I would to give 
The Eight. Eight, ok, ok. Let's continue with Star Wars. Yeah, sometimes I love science fiction and uh, mm. Star, Wa Star Wars also a great uh, movie and I give 7.5. Nice. And uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, three parts of the movie, right? And yeah, um, yeah especially the first one. Uh -huh. uh, the first one is a uh, nine points. Okay. And the other are uh, also great, but not mm -hmm. as good as the first part. So the second and the third part, eight points. Eight points. Okay. Okay. And now I want to know uh, what hobbies uh, you have apart from music. What do you like to do in your free time? Whatever. Yeah, I'm watching football, of course, because I'm a big supporter of Eintracht Frankfurt, traveling. Yeah. Also, if I have time, traveling around, watching uh, the movies and uh, um, yeah. And private, I still I'm a, I'm still a big metal hat and uh, I have. Yeah, I collect a lot of CDs and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. listening to metal music in my free time, of course. Okay, so you collect CDs. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Yes, of course. I I also like to have CDs, uh, vinyls, pictures. I wanted to show you, obviously. Ah, so what kind of vinyl is it? it it's this uh, is this is the picture, the picture vinyl. Ah, the picture, of course, yeah. because we have different, we have different uh, uh, kind of colors. Uh huh. Yeah. And, but the picture is really great. I want to know with which artist or band would you like to, to make an album or collaborate um yeah i'm a big fan of overkill i'm a big Ooh. fan of exciter i'm a okay. big fan of omen um yeah maybe singing a song together with exciter that would be awesome i was thinking now about the the big two tonic four with creator destruction sodom i haven't seen that uh, that show like with the four bands But uh, do you think that you could do it like uh, again one day, like a uh, big tour around Europe? If there would be a possibility, we would really lo love to do it. And um, I, it's a little bit complicated because all the bands have their own plans and creators, yes. of course, the, the biggest, much bigger than all the other three bands. And um, yeah, so if, if there would be a possibility, Tankard would really love to join it. This one, I think it's interesting because Uh, I wanted to ask you, we could say that beer is for Tankard is the same as uh, Eddie for Iron Maiden? No, I, I really would say, of course, we did uh, everything for this kind of image with uh, named the second demo tape, Alcoholic Metal, of course, with yeah. albums like Chemical Invasion, The Morning After, we did this kind of uh, beer image and... Um, yes. Yeah, in the 90s, we really wanted to get rid of this image, um, but uh -huh. we, of course, we totally failed. But nowadays, we're gonna make a lot of fun of uh, of this image. So, yeah, people they don't know Tankard uh, so much. They reduce us only on beer, but um, yeah, we kind of relate yeah, Tankard with we, beer. Yeah, we, we try always uh, to do a good mixture of serious lyrics and. Okay. Um, Of funny lyrics and um, yeah, but but this kind of of covers like the alien and and yeah. the dark that that really fits to us as a band. We are a fresh band. Uh, we still have a lot of fun to to play that mm -hmm. kind of music and it, it this kind of image it really fits to us as persons. I really would say. It is more common to see heavy metal bands and thrash metal bands uh, like like with angry postures, like bad uh, bad faces in the pictures. But uh, Tanker is always happy and smiling in pictures, and, and I don't know that's why. Why is that? Because you're sim you're just happy and you want to 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 smile in the pictures. Yeah, I mean we we are as we are, and so we don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
to to let out uh, any kind of image or something like that. We are as persons, we have still have a lot of fun and maybe that's the reason why uh -huh. sometimes we look very funny on the on the pictures. Yeah. You you broke all the stereotypes. Yeah, so our stereotype is to smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You're always happy. I wanted to, to tell you a story. A little story. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you remember this because you have played uh, a lot of times. <laughs> But in Barcelona, in Rathmatas 2, I think it was in 2016, more or less, you played there in yeah, in Barcelona, in Rathmatas 2, and you did like a meet and greet. And I was in that meet and greet, but I was obviously, uh, I don't know, probably 10 year old or less. I don't know. And okay. well, I have here the picture. I was that kid. Ah, great, great, amazing. And I don't know if you remember this, but I asked you uh, if you were going to play Frey Beer and you said, no, we're not going to play Frey Beer in, in this tour. Uh, we haven't. Uh, prepare it or whatever and then in the show uh in the stage you added a song and and you 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 played free beer you said this one is for you and you played free beer so i don't yeah, know if you remember especially for you yes especially only for you yeah you remember that yeah 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 i can remember because you asked me yeah in, the, in backstage, yeah, in backstage. Yeah, yeah. so i'm that kid <laughs> you are you are that You are that little kid. That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. I'm still a tanker fan, as you can see. Great, 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 great. Well, I have a curious question because uh, my father told me that you have uh, you you came here in 1991 or 92. I can't remember exactly uh, for the first time here in Barcelona, and then you came the next year too. But then uh, it was like. Uh, a lot of years we could say that you haven't come and uh, I don't know I wanted to know what was that uh, you were only playing I don't know in Germany because there you were very big yeah or, I, I don't I, know I really would yeah I would really say it has something to do with uh, you know if there are offers or not and uh -huh. uh, you know especially in the middle until the end of the 90s fresh yeah. metal was not that very popular anymore and maybe it has something to do with that mm -hmm. but uh, of course we we love spain and uh, we know that there are a lot of thrash metal maniacs and yeah, um, yeah. so we are like, looking really forward to come back i have like a general question I want you to explain us a little bit about uh, the expectatives you had from your new album, Pavlov's Dog. And I don't know, what can you tell us about? Yeah, so it's out since the end of September and it uh -huh. was a really big success because we entered uh, place eight in the official German charts. That's uh, the best place we ever had with the album. It's the first album for Reaper Entertainment because, um, yeah, I mean, we had a really good time with Nuclear Blast, but then they sold over 90% of the company and all the people we were working together with, they just gone. And um, so Florian Mills, he is the uh, owner of Reaper. He is a f our farmer promoter of in Nuclear Blast, so he's a good friend of us. He did a lot of promotion and a lot of a lot of thing for uh, Pavlov's dogs and um, yeah we put a lot of we put a lot of work into that album uh, especially the mix and uh, with the vocals and um, so we are still uh, yeah we are still really satisfied with the result and um, yeah I hope the fans like it too and uh, yeah at the moment we play two songs live Mm -hmm. It's excellent. It's excellent and lockdown forever. But yeah. uh, next time we're gonna try the variants too. And um, yeah, so so we are satisfied with the album, and we we all hope that uh, the people, the fans, like it too. Working together the uh -huh. second time with Martin Buchwalter, and yeah, as I told you before, put a lot of time in, into the sound, into the mix. Now that we're talking about your your latest album, I want you to to name a song you would 
you would recommend to to people like one song you said this one is good for starting listening Shankar but from your last album yeah from our last album I yeah so my favorite song is on the day I die but I think it's uh -huh. not 100 the typical Tankard song okay I think a good starter would be Barbarians Barbarians it's it's a powerful song <laughs> yes it's a I think very Tankard typical song yeah Barbarians it's great I I really like it I also like Diary of a Nihilist it's cool yeah that's uh, I, I also love that song But my favorite one is On the Day I Die. On the Day I Die. I, I also like it. You want to say something now? Uh, it's your yes, turn. Yes, of course. To... I, 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 yeah. I, would love to, I would love to say thanks a lot to all the fans for their support in the last 40 or 41 years. It's, it's, it's really amazing still to be a part uh, of the metal scene. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are a little bit proud of it, and uh, yeah, but without the fans, we wouldn't have the possibility to travel all over the world. So, muchas gracias for that. So, uh, that's it. Thank you so, so much. I give you from here uh, a big hug and Thank you. see you see you soon. Thank you. Have a good, have a good time with Accept tonight. Yeah, sure, sure. And just send me the link. Metal Warriors, nos vemos a la próxima. Yeah.